In this tutorial, I will show you how to create isometric designs using grid and other methods. And also will redesign Play Store logo to understand isometric grid. We have new tutorials every week, so please subscribe our channel to stay updated. Isometric design is method of drawing, creating a three-dimensional object in two dimensions. There are three methods to create isometric design in Illustrator using isometric grid, using SSR method that is scale, shear and rotate and using 3D extrude and bevel method. You can use any one of them. After experimenting couple of times, I have come up with some numbers for width, height and other dimensions. You can change them, you can play with them as per your convenience. But those dimensions work better for me. So let's start. Go to File, New, Select Web and set dimensions to 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Color mode RGB and just click on Create. Use Ctrl minus for zoom out. Select Line tool. No color for fill. And just draw a vertical line. Then go to Effect. Distort and Transform. Set number of copies to 48 and move horizontal to 27 pixels. Press OK. After applying transform effect, all these lines become single unit. But we need to expand object. This enables you to divide a single object into multiple objects that make up its appearance. So go to object and use expand appearance. Now go to object, transform, Rotate and rotate it to 60 degrees. Click copy. Press Ctrl C for copy and Ctrl F for paste in front. Now go to object, transform and reflect and click OK. Now you can see we have just created isometric grid. Press Ctrl A to select all. Press Ctrl G to group and use this alignment tool, horizontal align and vertical align to align them to center of artboard. Hold Alt and Shift to increase size. Change thickness to 0.25. We need to lock grid layer. For that, go to Window, Layer and click here to lock that layer. Naming is not required but it helps you to identify layers. We need to activate snap to point option. It will help us to precisely align anchor points and we don't need snap to pixel which is by default on. Select pen tool, shortcut key is P. Now you can see intersect. This is because smart guides are on and we need that. Just click at each intersect point to complete front view. The grid color and path color is same. We need to change that. Unlock grid layer and open color palette. I have given a link in description below. And apply light blue color for stroke. Let's draw side and top view. Press D for default colors. Fill colors and remove stroke.
hold alt and drag to create copy of object and use direct selection tool to select these points and drag we need to lock this shape because we don't want to accidentally select while working on other shape press control 2 to lock We need to divide them into part, for that click divide in pathfinder, click right side mouse button and select ungroup. Now you can see we have break them apart. We need to unite some part to create section, for that select and click on unite Let's fill gradient. To adjust gradient use G. Drag colors on color stop to fill color. Use Ctrl Shift left bracket to send it to back. Now we have done with our new Google Play Store logo. Let's talk about SSR method. For top and bottom view, select scale tool and double click to edit properties. Select non-uniform and set vertical to 86.062 and click OK. Set shear angle to 30 and axis to horizontal. And rotate angle to minus 30 degree. For left and right view, select scale. Settings will remain the same. Set shear angle to 30 and rotate angle to 30 degrees. For front and back view, scale will remain same. Set shear angle to minus 30 and rotate angle to minus 30 degrees. We need to adjust the gap between them.
Let's create isometric mobile to understand it better. Hold Alt and drag to create copy. Select Direct Selection tool. Click and delete some parts. We need to match the anchor point. Let's fill color. For bottom part, we need to use Live Paint Bucket tool. Hold Alt and pick color and click to fill that color. We need to expand to break apart. Use Pathfinder and divide. We are going to create a reflection. For that, apply gradient. Change both colors, stop color to white and change opacity. Let's create shadow. Use Ctrl Shift black bracket to send it to back. Change shadow blending mode to multiply. Go to Effect, Blur and apply Gaussian Blur to make that shadow soft. This is our final result. The third method is using built-in isometric method using extrude and bevel. This method is simple but we have some issues I will explain you at the end of this video. Go to effect 3D and select extrude and bevel. 
change extrude depth if you want and select position to isometric top click ok to apply changes to separate all views apart go to object and select expand appearance now we have done with our isometric object let's add some details to make it more interesting You might think that this is easy, easiest method but there are some issues when you have rounded corners and circle shape. This method create multiple element and sometimes it's hard to adjust them. I will show you with this example. You can see it creates a multiple elements when we have run rounded shape. I have shown you three methods you can use any one of them as for your convenience. If you have any doubts or suggestions regarding this tutorial please let me know in comment box and also don't forget to like and subscribe.